I mean, we don't need to go inside here, but we're going to go inside here. Because there's a chest. Come over. Link, if you would kindly do what I say. Use that the rock and then open it. A royal claymore. I actually don't remember it being that, but that's fine. I will not complain. Uh, you know what? <sighs> this topaz staff has really seen better days. I'm going to drop the topaz staff. I think that's that's correct. Anyone here? Please. Welcome to Ocarina of Time. Complete with the Goron's special crop. Isn't this cool? It's a straight up Ocarina of Time! Whoa! Oh. You, you, what are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, could you just help me? What's wrong? I set off a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Can you see the switch? If you try, if you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll be just waiting here, trusting you. I'm glad he said it was a switch and not a snap, which is what the, the Switch 2 is gonna be called. I I actually have a prediction. Just, just you wait. I, I think I know exactly what the Switch 2 is going to be. And it's all based on Nintendo's history. Can I kill them? I would like to kill them all. That would be... That's not the right weapon. Actually, I wonder if the wings will work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... It didn't kill them all because I can't kill them all because they're not actually a full swarm. But I killed a bunch of them. And I'll take that. I think... That the Switch 2... Oh, I missed. Is actually going to be called the Snap, or the Click, or something like that. And what it's going to be... Is... Two wells. Uh, or no, there's a well there. Okay, cool. A well and a cave entrance. I think that the Switch Joy-Cons will attach with electromagnets, which I think might have leaked, actually. But I think that the Switch is going to be able to wirelessly dock with your TV, and you're going to be able to use it like the Wii U gamepad, which opens up a lot of opportunities with the Switches being used as gamepads, since everybody has them, right? What better way to leverage the, the peripheral than to use them as controllers? That's kind of my prediction. It's going to be like a cross between the Wii U and the Switch, because that's that's what the they wanted, uh, that's what they wanted the Wii U to be. This is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I gotta go. Uh, thanks again. I think that is exactly what they're going to do with the, the Switch 2, because it would leverage the, the, pl the uh, hardware very, very well. It would be what they originally intended the Wii U to be, because uh, when they first unveiled it at E3, it was a mobile console. And I think that it would actually test really well with people. Uh, what's... Oh, it's you. I, I remember most of the, the stuff I did in the recording session. Like, I remember that there is some reason to go in here, but I didn't remember that it was the bubble frog. But again, I think actually uh, every single time there is a bloopy... There is a bubble frog in the cave. I, I think that has been 100% so far, and we haven't found any bubble frogs without bloopies. Unless I think I missed them. Okay, so we have some ruins here. Uh, do we have a Korok seed? Any it looks like we do. Over here. I'll take care of that off screen. And then we have a well. Very peaceful well. With some fish. I'll take the fish. Why not? I don't even know how many I have. 12? That's not terrible. Glow isn't necessarily a buff that I value, but at the same time, if I'm going to be eating food, which I know I will in, uh, in the depths, I might as well eat food that's relevant to the area that I'm in, you know? 
And we have some notes from our favorite chef. The road of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. That is why I choose to travel alone. But this life does have its fair share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a fish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did with my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the qual quantity of each mater er, material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Chef Ari Tamu, the lonely cook, who I think I do not believe that we have met even to this day, which would be great. I, I would honestly, I would take a like a selfie with her if, whoops, if I found her. I I wish one of the selfie pics was Link like pointing to one of his sides, uh, so you could take selfies with important NPCs. That that'd be really cool. Uh, and it looks like we we can probably kind of shortcut this if I pay close attention to the map and run all the way in, I should be able to ascend right up next to the tower, which is something I missed in the failed recording. In fact, uh, something happened and I spotted some stuff on the way to the tower. And so me telling myself to cut out the part that I was supposed to cut out ended up, I was probably going to use it in the episode because I, I was like, oh, what's that? And then something happened. Okay, uh, actually, let's talk with you again. Oh. Elmerson. Hello, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in Jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. I probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm gonna get moving as soon as I calm down. Which, again, adds credence. Look at the- look at the forecast! It's so rainy, and- this is not me. What is that? Oh, that's my horse, because it's <laughs> literally a beacon in the night. That isn't me uh, acting like playing dumb. I legitimately don't know. It is not something that I solved in the recording session. Uh, and it could be, I, I could be right. I could be wrong. There is a thunderhead nearby, which makes me think that there's, you know, some precedent here. It's also very strange that this is an unskippable cutscene. Um... I don't know why. I wish they would have skipped me right to this part so that, you know, I'm not having to talk over it. Yeah, there's Thunderhead, so maybe that's... Maybe there's something to this, which I'd be so down for. It'd be cool to have a story in Southern Hyrule. It was kind of glossed over in Breath of the Wild. It just, you know, wasn't part of the, the champion storyline. But it could be part of this storyline. I don't know. Maybe the... Maybe the other two champions aren't in, uh... They aren't in the places I would expect. Or maybe there are more than two champions. I do not know. Surface map updated. And lo and behold, the store, the Thunderhead shows on the map. Oh, and actually, we have a couple things to do here. First and foremost, we need to mark some shrines. I love that it slows down time while I'm in this mode. Ah, uh, I wish I could zoom here. I'm not seeing any other shrine. Oh, there's one. And it is in region. Okay, the... The whatchamacallit, the uh, stable is still in the same place. There have some sky islands that I don't really care about right now. We have some strange shadows that are trying their hardest. But aren't we all? Aren't we all trying our hardest here? And it looks like that's it. I think I'm looking at the Great Plateau now, yeah. Let's pull my chute and take flight. And I guess I should visit that now. It's on the way. I w I'm going to go to that sick vortex over there. Because, man, isn't that thing just cool? But I might as well land on here and see if it falls when I touch it. Nope. And it says it's etched with ancient Hyrulean text I can't read. I am the protagonist of Pokemon. I guess it was like the Earl, only the early Pokemon that your character could read. Uh, is that Colton? That is Colton, so we can 
Do we even need to visit Colton? Hold on, I don't even know. Uh, Bloopy, oh yeah, we do. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Sure. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We have our warp point. I can always, I can use the tower again. In fact, I probably will after this quest is done because I'm, well, you'll see why. You wanna go on a, my pet peeves? This is something I, I didn't talk about. I'm glad I'm actually finding stuff to talk about. Why is it that when you complete a, sh complete a shrine, it doesn't give you an opportunity to warp immediately there? You have to leave the shrine and then choose to warp. So you're having to go through two loading screens, but one of them is completely superfluous. So annoying. They should give you- they should really give you that option. Alright, first and foremost, most important thing in my life is that there is a Korok seed there, I think. So there is. Let's descend into the vortex. This is so cool. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cool. Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker. And I can't move during this. I'm just forced to go into the vortex. Which unfortunately kind of ruins some of the surprise value because... I, I knew that this was a location, it's not a hazard, but it's fine, it's okay, it's... It is... It, it's what it's, as they say. It's what it's. Okay, well, first and foremost, I gotta grab the Bright, bright Bloom se Seeds. I'm almost out. As you can tell, I mean, look, look I don't... I basically have none. I, if I spent, like, two minutes inside of a... inside of a cave, I would probably just, like... Be as blind as a bat, even though bats aren't blind usually. But the idiom stands. I would be so blind, I wouldn't have any light. I'd be blind as a mole. Moles, I think, can also sometimes see, so that one's also a bit of a misnomer. Shrine time! The Enoma Shrine. Lake Hylia. Do people say Hylia, or do some people say Hylia? I mean... There's also the terrible pronunciation, <coughs> Stephen, Hylia, and we, we can all just agree that that's incorrect, right? We're all mature enough. We, we you know, we understand that that's wrong. Good, okay. Because it's wrong, but Hylia isn't technically incorrect. It, we do, people do say Hyrule or Hyrule. I'm going to continue to say Hylia because it sounds correct, and I believe I am 100% right, and you're wrong if you say it the other way. But there's no wrong way to say it. I'm gonna work back to the Skyview, uh, Skyview Tower, Poplar Foothills, and we're going to launch ourselves into the sky to get some crystals. Okay, I've learned from my mistakes. This is now a separate recording session, which means I am guaranteed to not lose the footage I need. Where am I? Where's the pillar of light? No, seriously, where? Oh, that... Is that it? There it is. Okay, so I need to get... a little bit higher up than I am. Is this Sky Island something I want? Does it have anything on it? I want to say one of these had a shrine on it, but... I could be wrong. Also, do you like my plane? It's a plane. It's a hot airplane. Uh, I also no longer need it to be hot. Can you go away? Thank you. Ah! Final ditch the plane. Stop! Ah! There's a shrine. And then there might be a Korok seed too. You gotta love this game and its infamous detours. The Ukuji Sea Shrine. Wait, this one also needs a crystal? Hold on. Wait, what? Did I get this? I don't think I got this. Wait, where do I need to... I have to get two crystals. Uh, um, okay, sure. Uh, maybe I did get this one. Yeah, I'll get 
two crystals. That's fine. It's fine. Everything is okay. I'm not on a time limit for any of this. I'm actually not. Ow. Let's just fly over there and it'll be fine. Forget about us losing the plot. That's not possible. Ah! It's not possible for us to lose the plot. Because we are the plot. The plot is us. I am the new god of this world. As I can be quoted, having said in the past. Let me, with my godly powers of god... I'm going to shoot. What? That didn't work. Hello? Uh. Come on. This is not quite the entrance I was hoping for. But fear not. I shall enter it. It being... Actually, this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna go to the top because there's probably a Korok seed. Ah! Do you like my landing? Was that not yet another happy landing? I am the best person to ever have played this or any other game. What am I doing? Am I... I'm grabbing a rock, presumably. And like a god. What am I doing? I'm gonna drop the rock in here and magically get a Gorok seed. Did it, did it work? Did I win? Imagine how that would've... You know what? Watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna cut this out so that I look truly amazing. I'm going to drop this rock and get a Gorok seed. I'm going to drop this rock and get a Korok seed. I said I am going to drop this rock without looking. I'm not even looking. I don't know what's behind there. I This is the first time I've seen this island in my life. I'm going to drop this rock and get a Korok seed. Um, I'm going to Gently set this rock down where I cannot see where I'm setting it. Uh, and get... A Korok seed. Why is this so hard? I'm gonna get a Korok seed. <laughs> watch it. Watch it wasn't actually a Korok seed. <laughs> I just had been fiddling around with this pebble for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Speaking my weird, like... I don't even know what to call that voice. Where did I get that voice? I, I think I feel like I probably got that voice from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. It's a pretty safe bet, honestly. I'm pretty sure it's the guy who talks about, like, Jewish people. And he's Egyptian, so, you know, there's, there's history there. Uh... Do I have... Sure. I have fire fruits. I cho I'm choosing to use this. It's essentially an infinite resource. Can I build a plane with a... a thing? Give me... Give me your plane juices, actually. Yeah! And then we're gonna put that plane... ...on this cart. And then we're gonna have two batteries? That's way more than one battery, actually. In case it wasn't known. I... I'm here to teach. I... I have a lot of wisdom, and I'm here to impart it to all of you. Um, and every time you guys give me a comment, I think, you know what, I already knew that, but I'm gonna give it to him. And then I, I give it to you, and you feel very important. I've never learned anything from the comments, actually. I'm just gonna build this plane and shut up. Please comment. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, hold on. Is that a thing? What is that? St Stamble? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll stick that. I will not take the dazzle fruit because I do not need them. I needed the mushroom though. <laughs> cool. 
All right, yeah, this will take us right back real quick. And I might... Uh, I can't keep my plane because I'm going to go inside the shrine. Can I crash in here into this perfectly such that the, the plane is, like, crashing in the cutscene? 